Morning guys, today's chat is more of a speed fight blog than actually fixing this little bike. I've pulled it back in the garage again. Um, I was waiting for some parts, there's no sense if I'm waiting for parts. I've got this, the uh, battery, the starter motor and the registration plate next day, brilliant. But she'd start and she'd bog down. Now a lot of people get this, bogging down, and you think, what the hell is it? <clears throat> um, I know the carburetor's fine, the jets are right, the exhaust is fine, the air filter's all right, the piston's fine. But what it was doing was when I took the petrol pipe off, it was still leaking petrol. Normally you have to suck the vacuum and then it comes out. When you stop sucking the vacuum, dribble, dribble and stops. This one wasn't. So I was assuming because of that, it's allowing the petrol to still come out, fill the carburetor, it's putting too much petrol in it and she's bogging down. It's a theory. Now, I'm not a shop, I'm not a garage, I'm a guy in a shed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I haven't got all the answers. Um, I've got some manuals over there. I sometimes check them out as well. Um, I look at it that if I put this bike into a garage, 300 quid. That's what they charge you. They have to buy every single part new. It's legitimately done and they've got labour on top. For me, you know, I've got parts in there. I've got a couple of engines. I've got wiring looms. I've got variators, boxes. I've got loads of stuff. And that's only because I've bought bikes that sometimes I just cannot fix. I stick to speed fights. <clears throat> that was easy for me to say. I stick to speed fights because generally, you know, parts are 30, 40, 20 pounds, whatever you're going to pay. When you've got four T's, like Kisby's and all the other ones, when the engine go, you throw them away. There's nothing you can do because the parts are so expensive and it's such a long labour intensive job. It's not worth it. These little things, much more fun, you know? I mean, you can't, sometimes you've got to say an engine's dead. Guy on um, YouTube's been contacting me. He's changed practically everything, you know? And I think personally it's down to possibly only thing he hasn't changed the piston. Sometimes when you take the plastic cover off and you've got the head, take the four bolts off, you can see the top of the piston. And sometimes you think, you know what, that looks fine. It's not until you take the second bit out, you see the sides. Look at that. You know, you've never seen that otherwise. Scored enough to cause you problems that you'll get vacuum, you'll get spark, you've got compression. It's just not enough. Other times, it's actually the, the crank seals. I call them oil seals. But sometimes that's your crank seals. You've got a little bit of it, but it's still turned to vapour. It's not enough to start it. You get a little buh, buh, buh. Buh, 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 buh. And you think it's going to go, and it will never ever go. You've got to decide whether it's worth you throwing the engine away and starting again, or taking all the parts like I've done before, changing the crank, changing the oil seals, depending how much time and effort you want to put into it. Um, that's what it comes down to your time. So, I suppose what I'm trying to say today is you know, they, these videos, if they help you, that's great. I haven't done real long, in depth ones because I've only got a little camera. Uh, I haven't got a film crew, I can't fast forward them because you know it can take me 10 minutes to get an engine apart, it can take me an hour. You know, you don't know if the bolts are gonna come out, if they snap, snap a head bolt, you know, you're knackered. Snap an engine bolt, you're knackered. When you get them eight engine bolts out, they're only eight mil, and you've got to tap the screwdriver to slowly get it apart, you crack the casing, you've done it, you know? So I wouldn't want to suggest maybe everybody should do things like that, um, but it's worth a go. In my eyes, it's a knackered engine, what you're losing, you know, it's broke, it's broke, and you finish breaking it, you know, set it, I'll buy it. <laughs> but there you go, guys. Check out my videos. I've got 20 odd other videos on speed fights. I've got Triumph, I've got Brakes, you name it. 130 odd videos at present minute. And I do them if it gives a little bit of help to someone, I'm well happy. Do you know what I mean? Because I often look for other little bits and bobs. And if they can be educational, um, that's great. So, yeah, that's the idea. Um, I'm going to get this one running. I'll do a longer video of it when I actually get it running and say whether the bogging down was caused by the vacuum. It's it's just a guess, you know, that's that's the point. It was £1.95. Um, for that price, it's worth a go. Yes, I've been waiting for it for a long time, but it's worth a go for the vacuum on here, which is this bit here, okay? Um, that's why I tied it up. As soon as I let this go, it just pours out petrol. And though I changed the carburetor, and it's a lovely new carburetor, I know that's working well, do you know, it's, it's a case of finding out whether it's that or not. Also, if you've been trying to turn your bike over, I know I'm carrying on there, for a very long time, you've got to remember that there is oil and petrol going all the time. So, if you've been doing it for ages and ages and ages and ages and still won't start, it's often because you've got so much oil, petrol evaporates, doesn't it? But you've got so much oil in there that then that's why it takes a long time to go. But anyway, this does start. Um, get that one there, I'll do another video of there. Check out my other videos, if they help, great. If not, do you know what I mean? It's only advice, isn't it? Sometimes you really do need to get a manual. You know, they tell them all in there, they, they get them on eBay, five, 10 pounds. And if you want to go, if not, sell a damn thing, buy one that's running. <sighs> nice and simple. Right, guys, check out my videos. Hope this helps anyway. My first blog, I suppose. There you go. Bye-bye.